I don't feel like I'm, I'm contributing to anything. Arnaldo Ruiz spent nearly two decades locked up in Oregon. After serving his time, few things gave Ruiz as much joy as voting. It felt really great to get out and be able to just automatically vote. And so there was something about that just felt like I was being accepted back into my community. Now there's a push to give inmates that sense of belonging while in prison. I think this is just a a basic matter of of fairness and democracy. State Senator Sarah Gelser is one of the sponsors of Senate Bill 571. The bill, among other things, gives inmates the right to vote in elections while behind bars. Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt testified Wednesday in support of the idea. And restoring the right to vote to those who are incarcerated is at its core a gesture of hope. It gives people the right to dream, to participate, and to care. If this bill becomes law, Oregon would not be the first state to allow its inmates the right to vote in prison. Maine already allows it. A person who is incarcerated maintains closer ties to the community to which they will return after incarceration if they're able to continue to have a vote and voice in who represents them. Not everybody should be afforded that voice and vote, according to former Clatsop County District Attorney Joshua Marquis. He says it would be ludicrous to let people who are incarcerated vote for some of the things that show up on ballots. The kinds of decisions that we allow voters to make in this state, to whether we should or should not have a death penalty, whether there should be mandatory sentencing. Those sorts of decisions, Marquis says, do not belong in the hands of inmates. In addition to voting while incarcerated, this bill would also allow inmates to register to vote and update their voter registration while incarcerated. This bill still has a long way to go before becoming law. We'll be sure to follow along. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.